Hi everyone, welcome back to our final video, a recap on five projects we created using different materials and mainly leftovers from previous projects such as knitting yarns, some bits of merino wool, some bits of uh, fiber by your hat. We utilize everything, all leftovers, into these projects. So we created five pieces, five different pieces. First, we created this piece and these two pieces as project one, two and three okay where we learn how to use yarns to create different weight projects or oh, sorry felt yeah so this one was the first the heaviest and um, we just embellished our felt with yarns and we have uh, two sides to this okay another one we created this very soft uh, cobweb. We still we have holes. Can you see holes? <laughs> but it's a more cobweb um, scarf. Okay, let's put nicely back. We'll put like this. Again, we have two different sides, and then we created uh, felt a lace with yarns okay that's where two sorry three projects so number one number two number three we went further and we created another two project project four and project five in project four we were making a fine felt and what we learn here how to use different materials different silk fiber to to create beautiful texture and to create two different sides again including we add tassels okay so this is project number four and finally our project number five this is what we created again adding tassels we created felt embellished with lace again we've done double-sided you can do completely different colors and that's five projects what's next what can we do with all these pieces we created small pieces and the size of layouts was 1 meter 60 160 centimeters by 65 centimeters and shape triangular N nothing stops you to use this technique create different shapes and different projects which we will talk a little bit later but now let's concentrate what can we do with these pieces first i promise you poncha did i <laughs> and the title of class Poncha and different scarves. Here we go. We have two pieces here, two separate pieces. Okay, what I've done, I add little clips. You can add little buttons like I've done in uh, my red projects. I add buttons and with help of these buttons i can turn these pieces into different garments so we add buttons sorry we i add this uh, little clips um you can do anything you can add anything here okay buttons clips maybe even tassels you know even stitch tassels some i don't know some beautiful um, leather uh, it would look really nice here anything so how can you wear this so two pieces come together so this is the first just one triangle here one triangle here so you wear this way and in the back you have this 
beautiful bag. You, I add at the moment just one or uh, two uh, clips. You can add more. Okay, you can put zip if you want. So then, zip would look really good. Um, then what you can do, we can turn our piece, for example, this way. Yeah. So you have another point your cape, right? Uh, let me to lift my yeah mannequin <laughs> here yeah, still. Okay, so this is another way to wear these pieces. Or you can do on this side, yeah. So this is another one way like this. Then you can turn your side to another, sorry, you point it to another side. Now you have another look. And again, you can do the same. You can turn like that. Okay, something like that, for example, yeah? Nothing stops you to wear all these pieces separately as a scarf or maybe around your waist with jeans, yeah? So what else you can do? For example, uh, when you create all your five pieces and it's a little bit chilly outside, we can, for example, use this third piece to add as a scarf. Again, play. Play how you would like to style. So many different ways. Don't forget, I'm on spot doing this, okay? So when you have time and you do this in front of mirror, you will find so many ways to wear your pieces. So that's another way, yeah? or you can on another side, I mean, or you can expose this side, right? So what next? As I promised, we can just dismantle this poncho. Actually, you can just do like that. Before I dismantle poncho, I'll show you what else you can do, just like that. It's another way to create, to wear your piece. Yeah, beautiful, isn't it? So now uh, I've already dismantled, yes, why not? So then, so how many ways we've done so far? Uh, far? Gosh, one, two, three, four, five. I think six or seven, yes, yeah, six or seven ways. So then we're going, we can do, we're going to wear, we can do, we can wear something like, why not, something like that, okay, yeah, so that's another way to wear. Just quickly, it's another way, okay, or we have another side. If you wear headbands, it's great to wear on your head as well because it's an absolutely fantastic shape. You can turn that into a headband or even hat. Just experiment. So even something like this, wonder if I can clip where my clips yeah, uh, I probably need to put a few more clips here and you can just do like this. Or even when you have a brooch and we all have a brooches and obviously you have, hopefully you have by now my tutorial of felted flowers, just make nice flower here. So it is another way to wear this scarf again both sides. The same you can do with this, yeah, absolutely the same. Um, 
just wear like you want so play play if you don't want this to be seen but i think it looks pretty good as well it just addition so you can where's my brooch you can add brooch okay So, and turn into another beautiful piece, art, yeah, piece of art. So we've done this. Then, obviously, you can combine all this, for example, these two pieces. This is project, I believe it's project three, with project four. Look, color-wise, it goes really nicely together. You can do the same, adding little buttons here. We can, okay, so you have another capo poncho, like that. And we have this piece, felt embellished with yarn lace. It looks beautiful on its own. Look, this side or this side. And this project can gi give you beginning to many other projects. This particular technique, can you imagine to create a beautiful top or a beautiful, much larger poncho, okay? Or just scarf in different shapes, long, rectangular, any shapes, okay? Skirt, jackets, waistcoats, waistcoats. Let's talk about waistcoat because I did promise, I did promise another project another project for you let's first put all this back make place presentable okay so let's talk about waistcoat so i promised a bonus we're going to make a waistcoat using a small table a small space how to make large waistcoat on this small space let's face it not many of us have big spaces so the purpose of that class will be teaching you how to create a small sorry a large beautiful waistcoat using small space using this technique okay and this class only available as part of this large class five techniques till 19th of October. Okay, so I hope, I hope you found this useful. Okay, and um, let's fall together. See you soon. Finally, I promised just to show you a few more projects, simple projects, which you can create using these techniques. First one is infinity scarf. So let me to show you how it looks on a mannequin. Okay. Again, this scarf has two different sides, so you can wear or style any way you want. Putting me on spot, doing this in front of camera. <laughs> so something like this. Okay.
So something like this, yeah. It's a beautiful, very light infinity scarf. And I used here very light uh, yarns and fiber with little tiny of marina wool, tiny bit of marina wool. Another project, you've seen it, all these projects, red colors, this is just the same or similar what you've just seen. The difference for in this project that we have fine felt here and embellishment with yarns on top, okay, and this is very fine, yeah, lace. And another one I created, quite large item, and this is based on a circle. So this is, um, again, double-sided, and it is kind of, not kind of, but poncho, and I use uh, different pins. I can't find one, but you can see, you can have an idea, yeah, how nicely this drapes, okay? So, yeah, you can create anything with this technique, any garments, dresses even, okay? So, uh, thank you. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much to everyone who bought my class, my classes. I love felting and I love to spread love and knowledge of felting and share with you. Take care. All the best. Goodbye.